Welcome back to the Best of South Florida, and we're here today with none other than the man himself, George Perez, who's here responsible for some of the most amazing monuments here in South Florida. Well, hello, George. How are you? How are you? Thank you for having me. The magic city of Miami has been changed forever thanks to the vision of related group chairman George Perez, who is leaving a legacy behind like no other. He has brought us the Icon Las Olas, Icon Aventura, Icon in South Beach, Icon Vallarta, and the artistic masterpiece of Icon Brickle. But his passion does not stop there. In, in my career, you know, I've always tried to put um, all the things together and every time I do a new job you learn from the other ones and and you try to do something that is uh, better and better you know and that complements uh, this growth this incredible growth that we've had in Miami um, and Icon Brickle uh, where we are today is a culmination of all those things you know um, we have two of the best designers in the world you know Philippe Stark and Kelly Wurstler uh, one doing the hotel the other one doing uh, the condominiums and we have a very large project that is a work of art, you know, starting when you come in with the uh, columns, the reminding of Easter Island, a spa that looks like a library, you know, exercise facilities, a movie theater that is like, you know, a, a Greek, you know, theater. Um, everything has a sense of drama and beauty and art about this thing, about this building that I think is, um, is unique not just to South Florida, but we've had tremendous amount of, um, of uh, recognition from Europe um, that, as you know, has been the place where most of the uh, great designs I've the, you know, particularly Italy and Milan and so forth have come. And uh, we have been covered by almost every major magazine in Europe and they really believe, as, as I've talked to these people, that this is something that is um, of, of world class, you know, uh, many of them have looked at places like this and they say, we've never been in a spa like this, we've never been, you know, in, in common areas and lobbies and, and Club 50 on the 50th floor that, that have this type of excitement and this type of beauty. So being in South Florida and in the middle of downtown Miami, you know, is something that always makes me feel um, very, very proud. You know, I think it's, um, it's so far, and, and maybe for a long time coming, going to be the most iconic building in Miami. Fabulous. We had the opportunity to come here on a special dinner with George Perez and a lot of friends that he uh, did a tasting, and it was really wonderful. And I also had a press conference here for Latin America, and it's gorgeous, really beautiful. So we're going to stay here tonight and just enjoy check out the spa tomorrow, so I'm excited about it. Tell us a little bit about why this is an ideal place for Europeans looking to move into South Florida. When the Europeans are coming, they're looking for some of that, that, that great feel of the city, you know, the, 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 the tremendous energy that Miami has. At the same time, you know, we are 10 minutes from the airport and five minutes from Miami Beach. And we have a sister project called the Tides in Miami Beach that has tied in programs with us you know, in which if you wanted to come here to do business and do all your shopping and all that in, in, in this area, and then you want to go to the beach, all you have to do is you call the tides and there'll be somebody there that comes and takes you to the beach and you'll have your own beach chair and lounge and so forth. So by doing that, we've created the best of both worlds. So for the, for the traveler in Europe or the traveler in New York, which we're getting a lot of, you know, um, we have, um, you know, we have created not only a, an amazing urban masterpiece, but one that has ready access and privacy on a beach setting. So you have the best of both worlds. For most, becoming a self-made billionaire would be enough, but not for George Perez. His passion, commitment, and dedication are a true example of a man with a heart of gold. Doing projects that help cities you know, evolve into 24-hour places is very, very important. And the second thing is I've always been very passionate about 
art. I'm a very visual person. So to me, working with great designers um, and artists and architects in producing uh, these buildings that are really become artistic uh, pieces in themselves, you know, um, is very, very important. So the collaboration, you know, uh, the, the getting an idea and making it a reality is like the biggest turn on in the world. You know, the money part is really secondary. You know, the, the, the important thing is, is, the, is the road to get there. So, so making the deal and, 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 and working with all these geniuses, you know, to put all these things together and then executing it because it's, you know, it's difficult, you know, once you get everybody, remember many of these people are what I would call prima donna, so you still have to, you know, work through and, and, and design with them and execute. Um, I, that's what keeps me going, you know, I mean, I, when, when I think of, of what, you know, when, when you get a little older, you start thinking, what do you want to be known for? You know, you want to be known for not how much you're worth, you know, but what's the legacy that you leave behind? And, and I think we've had a very good trajectory so far. You know, we're the largest multifamily developers in the United States, you know, by far the largest in, in Florida, um, you know. Um, but that's not enough, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I, I, I still think that in, in spite of what we've contributed, we still have, you know, a lot yet to contribute. And they, I think that's what, you know, that's what turns me on. With a portfolio of over 50,000 apartments and condominium projects, his company, The Related Group, is the largest Hispanic-owned business in the U.S. And in 2005, he was named by Time Magazine's one of the most influential Hispanics.